What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Let's see how fast we can get through this three hours because you know what? Chantal came back online. She had some tissues to start with. She wants to have her backs padded for how skinny she is, according to her. And she's very happy. See, she got her Wario soda. And she says that there's nothing wrong with the soda. She explained it all to Sala. It's got zero sugar. It's just fine. Sala is still in control. And she's seen all of this be tested on TikTok. No problem here. This causes a massive problem. There's a ripple effect in this video that we see play out in real time. Because what we understand is her craving for this soda turned into a grocery haul. And this grocery haul includes me. See, there's a whole bunch of me here. Look at that. Great picture of us together, Chantel. Lunch meat, chickpeas, so she can make hummus, tissues, and mustard. After two sips, she doesn't like the soda. But she says that it makes her want a whole pack of Oreos with milk. This tells us why she can't have just one chip at a time. And she loves to play these angles. Everything balances out with bed. So as an example, she restricts herself. She'll say, well, I can't do that. I can't do without it. It'll, it'll cause me to with my bed. If she has just one, if she has moderation, well, then it leads to other cravings. So now, all of a sudden, she's having the soda she shouldn't have, and now the problem is now I want Oreos. This is why her snacks of, you know, chips and cheese are always told to be a bad idea because look what it does. She brings in the rest of the soda to Sala. She's frustrated that it doesn't have a chocolate flavor. Now keep in mind, Sala apparently hates sweets. She returns after he doesn't like it, she doesn't like it, still drinking it, craving Oreos. And the chat really gets on Sala about this. And they basically say, listen, Chantal, you want him to hold you accountable. You want us to hold you accountable. And you're out here with chips and soda. And she literally yells at them. And this is where things get very, very interesting. Because she says, it's not a pizza. It's not a pizza. I'm sure you've seen the thumbnail, so you know where we're going. But she says, you know, she always gets what she wants. Right now, it's about being a moderation queen. And she also realizes she has to change the subject here. So she, you know, digs into her armpit. She smells her fingers and says, see, no smell. I I've, I've got that magical gene. She then tries to justify, oh, everything that I've done is okay because there's no Thanksgiving feast coming. I couldn't find the ingredients for the stuffing, so I'll just do without. She continues to go over her cravings. Says that she's not hungry, but the treadmill, the treadmill can change all that. She can work up an appetite, you understand. The chat brings up that she ate four hours ago. She was on live when she did it, and she says, you know, that's only been four hours. It's fine to eat now. Besides that, if she does 10 minutes on the treadmill, it's going to be 30 minutes for the day. She calls it the treadmill, so I understand she's seen my community post. She gets on saying she's not going to do a bonus minute. Sala makes a very poor decision, I think even mentioning this, and tells her not to fall. She pretends that each reaction channel rages at every step she takes to getting healthier. Chantal, no one's doing that. No one is mad that you're getting in better health. If you want to tell yourself that to motivate yourself, you can go right ahead. But there's no one that I've seen that is literally angry about this. In fact, most of us have been an advocate for this. She calls Julia while she's on the treadmill, then panics when Julia gets close. She says she regrets the Coke now, and she needs her fan. Less than five minutes of walking, she's tired. She says, you know, she can feel the caffeine in the Coke. Okay, so I went and looked. This Coke has 21 grams of caffeine. So assuming she drank three quarters of the can, which is very forgiving, she at most would have taken in 17 grams of caffeine. This would literally be the equivalent of her drinking two ounces, just two ounces of Red Bull and saying, I really feel it. And it's these type of theatrics that make people really not care, that make nothing she says believable. 21 milligrams of caffeine. She drinks three quarters of the can, and says she can feel it. Chantel, that didn't make even a dip in your body. She, of course, is complaining about being hot. She's saying that the soda made her thirsty. And this is where, again, we saw in real time how her mind works. Because she forgot, clearly, that when she came online, she was eating the lunch meat that she got, which we never saw go back in the refrigerator. That sodium-filled processed lunch meat that of course would make her thirsty. She forgets all about it and blames it on the soda. And the chat continues to push back on the soda and she continues to defend it. She says, again, it's not like I had a pizza. She keeps coming back to this pizza, wishing she had some.
And she says, you know, she plans the treadmill every day. 10 minutes, three times a day, perhaps a bonus minute. They tell her, look, if you're going to do that, why don't you just watch a movie? She said she can't enjoy a movie walking, only ceiling. And then she starts to go over her favorite pizzas, what she likes about them, the particular types of cheeses that are used. She eventually starts talking about a pita pizza and how she should make one right now. Sala immediately tells her no. And the chat says, look, we've already given in. You wanted to be held accountable. We let you have a soda. There's nothing we could have done to stop it, but we let you have it. She says that there's no drama to be had. That no one should attack Sala for letting her drink a diet soda while she's on a diet. And then she says she's going to go make the pizza. And, and just because Sala said no, it, it doesn't really matter. She kind of goes over the TikTok she watches, all the self-diagnosing she's done. And despite continually being told no, she rationalizes. It's going to have skim cheese. It's okay. She's likely in a calorie deficit. Sala doesn't even need to control this. She's making it. It's homemade. She said she isn't even sure what she ate today. Because again, it's clear she forgot about the deli slices. To divert attention away from this, she shows Julia in a plastic bag. I have no idea why she finds this humorous. This is dangerous for the cat and should never happen. And when I tell you that Chad has had it, I mean they have had it. They are telling her to stop. They're telling her that she doesn't need pizza. And she is saying, you know, Domino's pizza isn't healthy. But this is a homemade pita pizza. There's nothing wrong with it. And then she immediately recants that and says, well, even if it was Domino's, one or two slices with a salad would be just fine. To give you some perspective, it, it took us 20 minutes from the start of the stream to get on the treadmill. Less than an hour off the treadmill, we're making a pizza. And she is singing about the pizza the whole time she's making it. She comes back, she's out of breath. The chat is still just enraged about this. She gets frustrated with them, saying if she was counting calories, she could have whatever she wants. She's just trying to eat healthy. She's trying to eat homemade. This isn't a Big Mac, guys. She tells everyone to get a life. She said she's got bed. She can't fully restrict herself to boiled chicken and vegetables. And the reality is, if you even start restricting Chantal, we see how she acts. The, the instant she gave in to a single craving, a tidal wave of cravings needed to be given into. And despite sitting there and telling everyone to, you know, be there for her, to keep her accountable, you know, she gets angry when they try to do that. And we can only imagine what Sala deals with when the camera isn't on. She tries to say, you know, everyone's going to have a different opinion. That some people eat McDonald's every day and lose weight. She doesn't need all this negativity over her pita pizza. She doesn't care about how anyone feels about her journey because it's her journey. And here's the thing. I I'll level with Chantal. I if she had been successful, right, if we saw 100% positive changes, I, I would almost be understanding of this argument you know, let her stay on the path because it's working for her. And to be fair, you know, there's 400 people in this chat. You know, 200 of them might have a different thought process. You can't just focus on each one. But the facts are, visually, Chantal has not been successful. And it's clear that she's overdone it with things like cheese, chocolate. And now she's literally made everyone miserable over her having a diet soda that she didn't even like. She instantly goes back. Everyone judges me. Everyone hides behind avatars. Everyone is overweight. Chantal, listen, we are not the ones asking for the chat to help us. We're not the ones asking for people to hold us accountable. To do a cheese check-in. Nobody is claiming to be a dietitian, but common sense tells you that a bag of Doritos, pizza, lunch meat, cheese, chocolates are not going to be the most effective choices for better health. She, of course, returns not only with the pizza, but with garlic slices. And the chat tells her right away, hey, that's way too much cheese. She says it's not a lot, it's just spread out. And it's covered in grease. She says that it's not. She tells them this is a better choice. It was baked in an oven, guys. Unlike, I guess, those deep fried pizzas we're all used to. She says the cheese, it's got protein in it. She tells us that the scale is going to be the real judge of how many pizzas she's ate. And they just continue to hold her accountable. Then many of them leave after honestly just being scorned. And what's amazing to me is she didn't enjoy the soda. She doesn't even enjoy the pizza because she has to constantly be sitting there defending it. They tell her, you know, you're really sweating. 
You need to go get a shower. You can't sit in these damp clothes. And she said she will. But first she wants to ask, you know, when is Ramadan? She's not sure. She keeps, you know, pushing against the chat. She, she tells them, listen, no one's going to be 700 pounds on pita pizzas. She tells them they don't have the right to speak their minds in the chat and be negative. And this is why she loses Beezers. She then goes on her normal, you know, I don't watch reaction channels. They only make fun of me. She sees the views drop. She sees people leaving and she just laughs. She says, you know, this is her passing down wisdom like her father did to her. She said she needs to wash and clean everything, including her, quote, treadmill socks. So apparently that's her plan for tomorrow. And she's keeping a very close eye on how long she's live. She says that, you know, it's seal time and Salah can come in and play Crazy Frog. She seals, says the neighbors, they, they never complain. Well, he is just blasting and pounding away on this keyboard. And she says everyone stays up late there, so no, no one cares. Salah asks Chantal to guess the sounds that he's making with the keyboard. They ask him to play the Jurassic Park theme, but everything he tries to play turns into Crazy Frog. She hand dances, laughs. This goes on for over an hour. She says that, you know, a 24-hour Crazy Frog would be fun. They both start laughing, giggling, singing long legs, and Chantal just finds this hilarious. They try singing songs together. She lays on the sofa, constantly digging into her eye, saying that they're going to be camping at the end of the month, and they're going to tell scary stories around the campfire, and she's going to throw her CPAP away. Sal has never had s'mores, so Chantal's going to make diet ones. The chat tells her the old makeup she constantly has on is why her eyes stay irritated. They also wonder how Sala can play the piano all day, but couldn't leave to go be in Thailand. She goes over how much she loves s'mores and hot dogs, one craving, again, just blending into another. She wants to keep watching a movie, and it's clear that she was done streaming, but Sala keeps stalling. He wants to play two more hours of Crazy Frog. She continues to whine to get offline, but it seems like he was really pushing her toward this three-hour mark. They don't make it there, but they get close. She says that she's never crossed her legs, that she can't cross her legs, and she kind of shows herself trying, but then pulls back. She says, you know, now the craving for cookies is overwhelming. She blames the Rio Coke and she wants muffins. She wants cake. This turns into candies that she does and doesn't like. They talk again about camping and Chantal hopes there, there won't be any snakes around. And Zala says, yeah, definitely no snakes or, or insects either. Zala, we, we know there'll, there'll be no snakes. Trust me, we know. They close out with her continuing to dig in her eye laughing they both mock each other they both mock reaction channel accents saying you know people can talk all they want about Chantal she's focused on herself and yeah we saw that today Chantal at the end of this she really struggles to get up I mean she is really really struggling to sit up after she's down and this is why so many people say you know she needs to be mindful going and jumping around because you really get the idea. You see her now when she can walk for 30 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, which, you know, she did do. But she really, really struggles with fundamental movements. So this is why people are concerned if she does fall, if she does, you know, pull a muscle, break a bone, you know, she's going to very much have all of these issues that we see now with just fundamental sitting up, getting off the sofa. All of that is going to be amplified when she has an injury. But of course, she says, you know, she gave us five hours of her day. She wants to watch a movie. She'll be on tomorrow. She might have given you five hours. I literally boiled it all down in less than 25. I'm going to leave you with the top comments from the last video. I appreciate you watching this one. And you know, unlike that Oreo Coke, I'll be back soon as I can with more commentary.